Over the last three years, the Bobcats have won a pair of Sunbelt regular season titles and last year made a run to the conference tournament semis. A team that's become one of the premier programs in the Sunbelt, the Bobcats under fourth year head coach Terrence Johnson look to rise to the top once again as they embark on a new season this year. And with that, we welcome you to our season preview special alongside my broadcast partner, Suzanne Fox. I'm Brent Freeman, looking forward to another year of coverage of Texas State men's basketball. And Suzanne, this is another year of coverage for you on the TV broadcast along, uh, along with me. And uh, you've transitioned from coach to broadcaster. How does it feel? Man, it's tough. It's a lot easier on the sidelines. I hate to tell you, Brent. <laughs> That's it's good to true. see you again. Getting back in the saddle and getting ready for another exciting season of men's basketball at Texas State. Kind of a recapping, you know, the end to last year. You know, the regular season was tough. You know, this team had a hard time uh, playing well consistently, you know, and there was a tough regular season stretch, so much so the Bobcats were forced to play in the playing round against Georgia State. But three games later, they find themselves in the conference semifinals. As you look back at last year, what stands out? Man, the number one word for me would be injuries. You know, it really plagued the Bobcats all season long. Uh, Coach Johnson was having to juggle lineups. You know, we alluded to that in several of our broadcasts, and I felt like at the end of the year, they finally got the guys healthy, mm -hmm. and I think that's why they were able to make that deep run in the Sunbelt Tournament. You know, you look at the last three seasons. Again, last year, regular season success, not quite there, but more postseason success mm -hmm. than we've seen the previous two years. But, but those two teams won back-to-back -back regular season mm -hmm. titles. The common denominator over all the success was Mason Harrell at point guard. Uh, as you look at key losses from last year, you have to start there. You do, you know, as they call him 12, he was a warrior. I mean, he's mm -hmm. one of those generational guys in your program that carries a heavy load. He may not be the top scorer, but he is definitely a guy that impacts every facet of the team and their, and their games. And not the only loss from last season in terms of personnel. I also look at, at Nigel Caesar as well in terms of, you know, the the uh, the big man position. Mm -hmm. He filled it really well. He did. I mean, he was a, a really force inside for the Cats. Offensively, on the defensive end, he was a rim protector. He could clean the glass for him. And again, he was out with injuries throughout the season. And again, that really just hampered their ability to, to string together wins mm -hmm. throughout the, the non-conference and conference regular season. Well, a lot to come in our season preview. We're going to be talking more about the non-conference schedule and the Sunbelt Conference. Up next, we're going to visit with a pair of the student athletes. First up, Drew Drennan, followed by Jordan Mason, and then Suzanne sits down with head coach Terrence Johnson. More of our season preview coming up right after this. As an undergrad, I had a lot of opportunities to do research and to learn about the different manufacturing processes. I really enjoy just heads down in the lab trying to figure out a problem. I'm the team leader for the manufacturing team, and it's been really great just learning more about how to lead a team, but then also seeing my team members grow within their role. I hope that I am an inspiration and to you know young women from kindergarten through high school through college and say, you can be an engineer no matter what. searching for what's next. At Texas State University, we are driving what's next. And next is now. And welcome back to our season preview of Texas State men's basketball. Brain Freeman now joined by Drew Drennan, one of the returners from last year's team and in his third season now. That's uh, Texas State transferring in a few years ago from the junior college ranks, began his career also at uh, New Mexico. And uh, Drew, we were talking earlier in the show about the great run the team had in the tournament. You won three games, beat Georgia State, knocked off Old Dominion, and then upset Marshall as well on your way to the conference tournament semifinals. Uh, 
run like that. How special was it for the team last year? It was special. It was something that was needed, um, mm -hmm. for sure. We struggled throughout the season. And, um, we all just came together um, and decided we need to put forth the, the, the strongest effort mm -hmm. to pull out and, and do what we did. You mentioned the regular season, not quite to what you were accustomed to. You've been a part of a team that had won, you know, a regular season title that won two straight, you know, in fact. Um, so what was it like kind of going through the ups and downs of the season last year? And how were how was the team able to kind of turn it on come tournament time? Um, really, it's just coming together as one. Um, you know, individuals struggle throughout those times. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just coming together as one, having a common goal and, and communicating everything. Um, really that's it. I mentioned where, you know, your college basketball journey, New Mexico, junior college, Texas State. This is your third year now with this program. How do you feel as if your role has changed over the years a little bit? Um, how would you describe, you know, your experiences so far at Texas State? Um, well, this year I know I'm stepping into a, a complete different role, mm -hmm. um, a leader role for sure. Because um, my first two years I came in playing behind 12, mm -hmm. um, Mason Harrell. And he, he did a lot. So I'm, I'm filling his shoes and I'm filling a lot of other shoes. And we have a lot of newcomers, so mm -hmm. I'm having to teach. So I'll say just being a leader, mm -hmm. overall leader, off and on the court and just taking care of the younger guys. You mentioned playing behind 12, Mason Harrell, you know, one of the great point guards in the history of this program. Tell me a little bit about your relationship with, uh, with Mason. What did you learn playing behind him? That was my roommate. Um, mm -hmm. We did everything together. So, um, man, he's a tough, he's a tough dude tough cat and I just learned to have from him I learned resilience um, mm -hmm. um, determination and, and and fight and toughness um, he went through a lot of battles while he was here mm -hmm. and he, he overcame them and did what he did set a lot of records and it's something I, I'm inspired by mm -hmm. so uh, you look ahead to this coming season mm -hmm. you know with with this team and uh, uh, some some new players along with the returners like yourself and as I mentioned before you've been a part of a championship culture here at Texas State again a great run last year mm -hmm. what is it going to take for this year's team to contend not only in the regular season but also maybe make another and maybe perhaps deeper run in the tournament this year um, toughness, um, willingness, and and buying in to what we do, mm -hmm. and really that's all it comes down to is buying into the system, buying into it, what Coach TJ puts forth, and and implementing that and doing it. Mm -hmm. Coming up next in the show, we're going to be visiting with uh, Jordan Mason, who was a freshman on last year's team. Uh, what were your impressions impressions of getting to play with Jordan, and what are your expectations for him this year? Um, I expect a lot from him. Um, last year, he got thrown into the fire. We had a lot of injuries, and mm -hmm. he had to grow up real fast, and he did so. Um, so this year, he's one of the five returners, and yeah, he, he has a big role to step into. Well, looking forward to visiting with him and uh, looking forward to what's uh, in store for you this coming year. Uh, Drew, thanks again. Yes, I appreciate you. Again, Drew Drennan joining us on the season preview special. Up next, we're going to visit with sophomore guard Jordan Mason. Back with more of our preview after this in just a moment.
Our season preview continues now joined by another one of the returners, Jordan Mason, getting ready for his sophomore season here at Texas State. And, uh, you know, Jordan, I look back in your freshman year and you don't get a lot of playing time. The first half of the season, a non-conference play, we barely saw you out there on the floor. But then the calendar turns to 2023, conference play begins. All of a sudden, we're seeing more and more of Jordan Mason. And it's one thing to get the opportunity. It's another to take advantage of it. How important was that for you to take advantage of the opportunity you got? Um, I mean, I feel like taking advantage of the opportunity was was something that was necessary for the team to win. Mm -hmm. And... I think I just I just was kind of thrown out there and to try to make a difference, and I felt like coming off the bench I just wanted to bring energy, and so I just did that to help my team win, and I was able to take advantage of the opportunity. We we just got done visiting with Drew Drennan. Suzanne and I have talked about it as well. This great run that the team went on in in the Sun Belt Conference tournament. Had to play in that playing round. You passed that test against Georgia State. Knock off an Old Dominion team that had beaten you the regular season, and then you beat Marshall to punch a ticket to the semifinals. For you as a freshman to experience that type of postseason run, what did that mean? Oh, it was it was amazing. It was one of the best. It was probably the best experience I've ever had playing basketball. Mm -hmm. Going on that run, like I I. I can't even describe, like put it into words, how awesome it was. And I feel like doing that again this year and going deep in the tournament is something I'm looking forward to. There's not a lot of returning players here. You're one of the few. Drew is also another one of those returners. Of course, the two most notable losses, Nigel Caesar and uh, Mason Harrell. And Drew and I talked a lot about Mason because the two play the same position. What did you learn? playing alongside Mason Harrell, who's going, who's gone down to the record books as one of the top point guards in the history of this program? Uh, he was definitely someone I looked up to. He was just always – he was super resilient. Mm -hmm. And I feel like no matter what anybody threw at him or what he went through, he was he still showed up every day and practiced. And also confidence, he, no matter, like, how the game was going, I knew at the end of the day, at the end of the game, he was going to get the ball. And I trusted him, and he trusted himself to make the right play. And I felt like that's something I learned from him. Something you hear coaches and players talk about all the time is culture. You know, how important that is. You joined a program that had a winning culture, having won back-to-back -back regular season titles, and again, had a great run of the postseason last year. How would you describe the culture within this program? Um, I think the culture here is, is unmatched. It's nothing I've ever been a part of. Mm -hmm. Like coming in every day and being an everyday everyday guy is something that they that they're really big on. And so learning to be consistent in my work work ethic and doing uh, doing the same when nobody's watching is something really important in our culture. Terrence Johnson, the head coach here at Texas State, he's getting ready for his fourth year. What's it like being a player for for Coach TJ? Uh, it's 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 amazing. I mean, it's tough. He he definitely expects the best out of you mm -hmm. and tries to get the best out of you every day. But he's someone you can go talk to. And someone you could, like, you can always get good advice from. Mm -hmm. And he's got, he's a really, really good coach. He's got really good, good sets and plays. And it's just fun to play for him. Well, we're looking forward to uh, visiting with him here in a moment. And uh, Jordan, thanks again for joining us. And best of luck to you this coming season. Thank you. All right, that again, Jordan Mason, sophomore from San Antonio. Big things expected from Jordan Mason this season. We talked about Coach TJ. Suzanne visits with the head coach of the Bobcats. After this, as our season preview continues. I'm Natalie Eister. I graduated in 2020 and I have a bachelor's degree in electronic media. You know, I highly recommend applying for an internship because that's how I got my start here at Sinclair San Antonio. I love the fact that these people really want you to strive in all directions of the newsroom and go out and interview and take pictures and just really enjoy the field of work that I really want to do. Check out news4sa.com slash careers or call 210-366-1129. Ladies and gentlemen, the power of a word. The anticipation, the adrenaline, the hair on the back of their necks rising. The crowd, the score rising, greatness rising, the sun rising. Sometimes a word is best left all by itself. The Sun Belt Conference, 14 universities, 10 states rising. People are always searching for what's next. At Texas State University, we are driving what's next. And next is now. 
Welcome back to our season preview show. I'm Suzanne Fox, joined by head coach Terrence Johnson in his fourth season with the Bobcats. Man, you're coming off a challenging season last yeah. year. What excites you about this team and this season? Yeah, it's a new group of guys. It's, you know, it's a great feel to to um, have a collection of talent that we, that I feel like we have, and the type of people I feel like we have. Um, also, I mean, you know, the elephant in the room is this the first season to where not one coach or player was recruited by by the previous head coach. So it gives me a um, give me a sense that um, that I'm kind of working my way into a new era of Texas State basketball and also my new journey. So um, I'm embracing it. I'm excited about it. You look excited about it. This will be a real a great year for you. And you mentioned, you know, a lot of newcomers coming in the program. You know, one of the keys to success is blending those newcomers and the returners. What types of things have you done in the off season, the summer to make that happen? You know, it's been fun. It's been fun. You know, we, we've had a couple of challenging practices and kind of putting those guys against the returners and just, um, you know, kind of going at it a little bit. Also, you know, some off the court stuff. We, 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 we fellowship quite a bit. We have some other, we had an escape room um, playing for these guys pretty soon. So I'm looking forward to it. I think we're going to be headed to some Spurs games and stuff like that. So I'm excited about the stuff that we have. Have, um, surrounding the, surrounding the program to build camaraderie and just family atmosphere. Yeah, and that, that's so important. You know, both of us been in this coaching business a long time, and having those activities outside of the court, yeah. outside of basketball, really helps those guys get to know each other in a different way. Absolutely. Yeah. So tell me, it's early. At this point, right now. What do you think this team's strength could be this season? Yeah, you know. Um, it is early. It is early, and we're still trying to develop those. Uh, but I would say uh, we, we do a pretty decent job of moving our feet. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm thinking that uh, from an individual standpoint, being able to guard the ball, I think we should be able to hawk the ball a little bit, which may in turn – uh, allow us to play a little bit extended, so we may extend some pressure on 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 you know at times a little bit more. Uh, and I think for the most part we can be pretty decent in transition if we can do that. Uh, the other thing I think that, that that this team will be able to do at the end of the day is is probably get to the free throw line a little bit. Um, we got some guys that are capable drivers and guys that kind of live at the free throw line now. Now I can't tell you that we're gonna hit any, but but I can tell you we we should be able to get there. That's always good to get there. That yeah. At least gives you an opportunity, you know. And you talk about the elephant in the room. The other elephant is the loss of Mason Harrell. He mm -hmm. was such a warrior for your team. You know, tell me who has stepped up now to sort of take the reins to be your quarterback for this season. Yeah, you know, um, if I had to kind of pinpoint one person, you know, I, I don't know if I could, but if I had to, mm -hmm. uh, I would say Tyrell Morgan, you know, okay. when it comes down to that, a guy that, you know, it's an everyday guy, sacrifices his time, sacrifices mm -hmm. his body, and also sacrifices his comfort zone. And a lot of people don't talk about that level of sacrifice for you to be able to sacrifice your level of comfort and do things that you're not, you typically wouldn't do. And as for him, that's be vocal. And he's done a pretty good job of trying to be a vocal leader. Yeah, it's always tough for the guys who are sort of the quiet quiet guys to really speak up and draw that attention. And again, that's awesome that he's coming out of his comfort zone. Yeah. All right. We're about to hit the rapid fire Let's questions. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right. Which player is the comedian of the team or at least thinks he is? Brandon Love. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. Okay. One word the players would use to describe their preseason workouts. Hard. That's easy. Hard, of course. Everything is hard. Okay. That's <laughs> Everything is, and it should be. Yeah. And it should be. Up by three on the last possession of a game, do you foul? Yes. Okay. LeBron or Michael Jordan? Jordan. Okay. Your go-to comfort food? Gumbo. Okay. Louisiana, of course. <laughs> and last, best book you read in the offseason? Oh, man. Um... I would say um, it wasn't necessarily in the off season. I guess it was because I, I started it kind of like in January. It was mm -hmm. a gift for Christmas, mm -hmm. uh, John Thompson's book. Mm -hmm. So uh, I thought that was a really, really good book. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I, I came in the shadow. I know you were a big reader. Yeah. And I know. So, so John Thompson's book, I came in the shadow, uh, I would say probably has been the best book I've read since January. Okay. Yeah. 
Awesome. Yeah. Well, Coach, thank you for your time. And best of luck this season. You know, I, we're all looking forward to seeing this 23-24 Bobcat men's basketball team. Up next, Brant and I will talk about the schedule and the Sunbelt Conference. Back with more of our preseason preview after this. At Texas State University, we are builders and creators, pushing the boundaries of what human ingenuity can do. You're an analytical thinker, and you like to know how things work. Then you try to make them better. You will find countless opportunities to feed your curiosity and imagination here. You can immerse yourself in green research to protect the planet or help develop new technology for a mission to Mars. This is your chance to be at the cutting edge of what's new and what's next. I'm Natalie Eister. I graduated in 2020 and I have a bachelor's degree in electronic media. You know, I highly recommend applying for an internship because that's how I got my start here at Sinclair San Antonio. I love the fact that these people really want you to strive in all directions of the newsroom and go out and interview and take pictures and just really enjoy the field of work that I really want to do. Check out news4sa.com careers or call 210-366-1129. People are always searching for what's next. At Texas State University, we are driving what's next. And next is now. Our season preview continues so far. We've talked with a couple of student athletes, Drew Drennan and Jordan Mason. Suzanne just got done talking with head coach Terrence Johnson. So let's now get to the games themselves, Suzanne. And let's start with the non-conference schedule, which all, which all begins on November the 6th, the season opener. Bobcats facing a, an old Sunbelt rival in Little Rock. As we look at the non-conference schedule, what games stand out? You know, I have to go to the old rivalry back in the Southland, UTSA, mm -hmm. you know, on November 17th. You know, it doesn't matter where the Roadrunners and the Bobcats get together. There's always going to be a great game, a lot of animosity, yep. and a lot of fire in those type of ball games. Yeah, the I-35 rivalry, and there is another uh, north on 35 as opposed to south. Texas State revisiting its rivalry with UTA. And you look at uh, the Big 12, three Big 12 opponents this year to include a Big 12 newcomer in Houston. The Cougars coming off a 33-4 and four season under head coach Calvin Sampson. Yeah, again, really tough schedule Coach mm -hmm. Johnson's put together. Um, they're not going to be in the friendly confines of Strahan Arena very often in the preseason. Mm -hmm. And so they're going to be very road-tested when they get to Sunbelt play. Also do note the uh, Sunbelt MAC challenge this year. The Bobcats' first game is at Miami of Ohio early on in non-conference play. Now looking ahead of the Sunbelt, it all starts – on the road against the preseason Sunbelt favorite, James Madison, as you look at the Sunbelt conference schedule, 18 games, what stands out to you? It's tough. You know, mm -hmm. the Sunbelt has always been such a challenging league. Last year, the Bobcats went in at James Madison and knocked them off. Mm -hmm. Big win for the Bobcats. And this year, you know, they're going to hit the number one team the first game out of the box, and so they've got to be ready to roll. You look towards uh, February, late in the regular season, four straight games on the road at one stretch uh, for Texas State. And as you look at the Sunbelt Conference preseason poll, we mentioned JMU, the favorite of the top four. Three of those teams are Sunbelt relative newcomers now in their second year in the conference. The depth has grown exponentially over the past couple of years. It really has, you know. I think when you talk to the coaches around the league, those newcomers who came in have brought a ton of talent and really are great basketball schools. Mm -hmm. And I think it's elevated the league in general and uh, really given them an opportunity to be a two-bid league. Well, Suzanne, it's been great talking men's basketball with you. Looking forward to another season of coverage on ESPN+. Plus. Thanks, Brant. Appreciate you, it. You got it. Well, that again, a look ahead of the upcoming 2023-24 year for Texas State men's basketball. For Suzanne Fox, I'm Brant Freeman, reminding you to enjoy this season. And as always, eat them up.